to my channel. Um, today we're going to be doing a really quick kind of get ready with me. Um, it's just going to be kind of a real quick, simple, easy, light makeup daytime look. Um, I wear something like this quite often on my days off, which I have one today. And um, when I'm going to be kind of going out and about in the community a little bit, and I just don't want to scare anybody with my natural <laughs> no makeup look. So I put just a little bit of makeup on, just kind of enough to hide some of the redness because, you know, I've got a little bit of redness here and a little redness here and I don't want to, got the puffy, ugh, oh, ugh. So I just kind of want to hide everything a little bit and uh, let's get started. Um, I love this Tarte BB cream right here. It is kind of one of my go-to BB creams. It's just light, easy coverage. I just put some on my finger, just kind of dab it on. I've got a little mirror over here I'm looking at. And then whatever I have left over, I put on my little fake Artiste brush. And then I just kind of smooth everything out. Today I get to go to do really fun stuff like go to the bank, go to the store to pick up a prescription. Uh, do a little running around and then really really fun stuff steam cleaning carpets and doing laundry So yay me Don't be jealous people. I know it's such a fun-filled exciting life And dealing with cats that's a daily occurrence So as you can tell, it just kind of helps smooth out some of the worst of the worst. And then I take this Smashbox Halo, and I use it kind of both as a setting powder, and it also gives just a little bit of coverage itself. Um, you just, it's got a little grinder, you just turn it, and it literally just grinds up a little bit, so you don't waste any. And I just put it on a big fluffy brush, and I just kind of buff it into the skin. Like I said, it just kind of helps set it a little bit, and it also helps put just a little bit more coverage on my skin. On, I just need a little bit more. Bilbo is helping me out here. I don't know what he's doing. Okay. So as you can see, whoops, I just dropped the thing I need next. As you can see, it's looking already a little bit better and it's only taken, what, about two minutes? And then I take this little bit of Maybelline Age Rewind. It is getting really low. I'm probably gonna have to get me another one of these. Just crank up a little bit and then I just kind of dab it on. It is getting low, good gravy. <laughs> It is getting really low. See, it kind of helps disguise some of the puffy, yucky. I should have slept a little better the last couple days. It's my days off. You would think I'd get cat caught up on my sleep, but apparently I don't. Apparently I'm not that smart. I'm going to have to get me another one of these. There we go. So I kind of hide some of the dark circles, some of the yucky, and I just kind of run it over with a brush a little bit. Not too bad. Now for my uh, cheeks, I absolutely love this style by Harouche palette. It has cheeks and then two rows of eyeshadows. It is just a very nice light look. Um, you can just get uh, this cheeky color is really just a very light look. Let me get my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. And I just put a little bit on. It's just a hint to not make me look like I'm a ghost. Using um, this little brush, it's a Luxie brush that I got in my Ipsy bag this month and I really like it. 
very very soft I love it okay just a little hint of color on my cheeks nothing too big and why did I put that away I'm gonna use it I really should have slept more and then I just put a hint of color on my eyes I'm pretty much going to be focusing on this bottom row. I love that bottom row for days like today when I just want a little bit of coverage. I'm looking for the right brush. There we go. But I don't want to have like overpowering. So I'm going to go into this color called Pinch right there. And I've got a really big BH Cosmetics brush. It's big and fluffy and it has a cat hair on it. I don't want a gray cat hair. I've got enough gray hairs as it is. Just put a little bit on, kind of blow off a little bit of the excess, and just sweep it all along. And then, same thing with the other eye. exciting things are happening I'm gonna be moving my clothes and my boots and my shoes and all my stuff down into what used to be my workout room it's going to become kind of a dressing room and hopefully a filming room so I won't have to get interrupted when daughters come home and stay and I'm eventually gonna buy a vanity and move all my makeup in there and it's just gonna be awesome exciting exciting then I'm going to go into this color right here called Vamp. And I've got just a little angled or angled brush, a little lighter brush like this. And I just put a little bit on the top. Blow off the end. And I just rub that into my crease. Just a little bit goes a little ways. Get just a little bit more. And back into the other eye. Kind of even them up. And then I take, I have a BH Cosmetics blender brush here and just kind of soften out the edges. there you go just a light easy eye look and on days like today that's when I like to use mascaras that are not my favorite 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 my favorite 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 is of course uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex but I really like this benefit yes they're real it's just not my favorite it's not my holy grail but I like to use it on days like today when I just want I want people to be able to see that I have eyelashes <laughs> And I don't put any primer on on days like today. I save that for when I go to work or going out. And I just put a coat or two on. I don't even bother curling my lashes. <laughs> second coat is mainly kind of let's just make sure everything's not sticking together I hate when your eyelashes get kind of clumpy like they're trying to right here there we go I have eyelashes peoples and then last and not least is just a quick brow because again I want people to see that I have eyebrows especially like off in here and for that, I love this Maybelline Brow Drama. It's just a crayon. I love it. Oh my gosh. It's so easy. I just do little short sweeps. And all of a sudden, I have what could pass for an eyebrow. Do the same thing over here. Because I definitely, I love the look of what they call Instagram brows, but not so much on me. I prefer the much more natural look. And I kind of brush through it real quick. 
and then you kind of I kind of go back through if there's like a spot that looks like it maybe needs a little bit more you can go back and fill it in make it a little a little more dramatic I've got a little spot right up in here There we go. Again, brush through it again. There we go. So a nice, light, easy daytime look. I mean, I've got a full face of makeup on and I don't really look like I have a full face of makeup on, which is, of course, what I wanted. Very nice. Um, this tart, I already had sunscreen on, but this tart has an SPF of 30 in it too. So there you go. 10 minutes. I have a full face of makeup on. I'm not going to scare anybody when I'm out and about. So yeah. So with that, I'm going to say peace, love, and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.